And I'm this summer feeling like, mm, girl, 2018, we're going to get it back. We're going to go to the beach, right? Well, in Michigan, we're going to go to the pool. So I put on my bikini, and I'm feeling like, you know what? Ain't nothing going to stop me. No stretch marks going to stop me. No diastasis going to stop me, right? I'm going to go up in the pool looking good. Well, something did stop me. My four-year-old said to me, Mommy, quite loudly in front of everyone, what happened to your belly? To which my other male ally responded to him, you. <laughs> That's why you need allies. They can be honest with you. Yesterday, I asked my four-year-old ally, I said to him, Grant, and by the way, this, he, he touches my face and he says, Mommy, you are a queen. And I say, what do you want? <laughs> it was really cute till he started exercising his great tell me more questions to other women, and I, I just couldn't handle it. But uh, he said, I asked him, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he looked at me dead in the, straight in the face. I've been teaching him that eye contact. You know, he's got all the future as female. You know, I'm a male feminist, male ally energy. And he looked at me and he said, an adult. I was like, yeah, aim high. <laughs> so it's important to teach these question asking skills. But the part of not being uh, unstoppable is that we all have insecurities, right? We all don't work for the best company that, that offers you just like goo gobs of time and everybody can just be themselves and you can just show up and be incredible. So what do you do when you work for the non-great company, right? And you can't even nod your head right now because you're sitting at a table probably provided for the not. She, she's, she's, up, she's like, girl, preach. I, I didn't say anything. So what do you do? You, you begin to ask more beautiful questions. I, I was in another uh, panel today, great breakout session, and someone asked the question of, well, what do you do when you go in for a raise? And, you know, you're, you're telling them all of the things that you do and all of that. And there were amazing answers by the panelists from Ice Miller. I mean, I was looking at those girls, and it was just costing me $750 an hour to look at them. <laughs> I was just like, they're so smart. And, and I had a little answer to that, but that comes from my background in sales that actually taught me how to become likable. And my answer to that is, when you go in and you do all of those things for your resume that your boss or your coworkers have said, do this, it'd be good for your resume. Do that, it'd be great for your resume. And then you present the resume and they're not interested in it. You're like, well, maybe it's just for my resume somewhere else. Um, when you're in that situation, ask them this question. Is there any reason why I should not receive this promotion? Because in sales, starting a company, from $1,500, which was like a tax return, to where I am today has required me to ask a lot of questions, right? I don't want to hear you tell me no and then give me an excuse. I want you to just tell me no. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that you're going to tell me no and I'm going to ask you why, okay? So if the product, we'll say it's a product, is too expensive, I say, oh, sorry. That's too expensive. I'm going to ask a follow-up question, which is, what if we could break it into smaller payments? Oh, no, no, it, uh, you know, I'm, I don't really have a lot of time. What if we were able to uh, bring it to you? At every obstacle that they present to me, every, er, right, every hand, every get back, get back, you don't know me like that, I'm going to continue to push just a little bit more to needle down, to hammer down to the real reason why you are telling me no right now. Because one of two things will happen. I will either grow and become better from it, or I will chuck the deuces and peace out. Because that's what it is. We're only going to improve, or we're going to move on. The day you get hired is the day that you will no longer have a job, because everything has a beginning and an end. So begin to 